like math. I like football. I really enjoy doing both. And this is really how I spend my days. My mom says I was always good at math. I just always did really well. I didn't really fall in love with it until college when I really got the chance to just take whatever courses I liked. And my math education very much just felt like it was my own. Wi-Fi settings. I always knew that I was gonna go back and get my PhD. And I mean, I had the opportunity to go to MIT and that's just, that's not something you can pass up on. I just finished the semester. I just got all my projects in. The biggest thing on my plate now is just studying for qualifying exams. Hey, what's up? Hey, John, how's it going? Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah, a long time no uh, see. John's been coming here for about two years. Mathnasium is 35 years old. We focus only on math, and we help any kid at any age move their math skills forward. So we're going to hook, hook up with Nick nice. and uh, do a little work together. What's up, brother? What do we got? I try to just tutor kids when I can. Nick's a good kid. He's a soccer player. Math isn't his strongest thing, but it's something he's trying to get better at and working to improve on. What happens when whatever's under the square root is negative? What's the square root of a negative number? You can't. Can't do that. Unless you have imaginary. Unless you have imaginary. Okay, but there's yeah. no imaginary. Okay, yeah, We're yeah, working yeah, with yeah. X's and Y's. Uh -huh. Imaginary numbers, like what, yes. where are those? We don't know. OK. And now, can you draw what a parabola like that would look like? It would probably be like this. Yes. Okay. You're killing it. STEM education is important. I think it's a way to invest in our future. And I just want to do my part. A lot of high school kids, we think the math is kind of pointless. When you take a step back and really try and understand, and especially talk to people like John who have, use it every day and they're so passionate about it, you start to realize that it does have more of a use than we all think that it does. Mathematicians get jobs like doing tons of stuff, like being professors or yeah. being football players or like working at Google, you know, mm. all of the above. That would be cool, working at Google. The new things that are coming with computers, big data, these are mathematician problems. We are really going to come into our own. I enjoy football, I enjoy the competition. In math, you know, there's competition there. It's not as obvious, but it's you against the unknown, you against some problem. And I think football really helps me with that. Good game.